interested in the empty spaces between things, interstitial spaces, because we don't even notice them. They become invisible. And when I bring a thread from one building to another, suddenly we are seeing that empty space in a different way. When you encounter one of my sculptures, this monumental softness moving in the wind, it reminds us that the wind is already there. It's as if the wind is the choreographer. And I love that I have no control over it. There's a lot that I learned in music that I apply to my work today in terms of form and understanding the layers of structure. What drew me to want to be an artist was I have always been interested in how the space I'm in changes the way I feel and therefore who I am at any given moment. And in a way, I'm trying to understand the identity a city wants to become, and the material has to reflect that. It takes us nine months to build one of these pieces because I start with the raw fiber. We braid every single twine and rope ourselves from these highly engineered fibers for the structural role in the sculpture. This is this material that's stronger than steel. It's 15 times stronger than steel. Ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. I consider the entire physical world fair game for content. Art is about life, and we are embracing this world that we are in. When you're underneath the Renwick, the physical structure is not moving as the outdoor works move in the wind, but the lights are slowly changing as is life when the sun is setting and the tides are changing. This is the new gateway sculpture for Austin, Texas. And I've been looking at the way that bats fly, and the gesture of this wing in movement. And so this is inspired by that. My work can't exist without the efforts of so many people and their skills. I don't have to be good at everything. I don't have to have expertise in every field. In Boston, we had to convince three different skyscrapers that were privately owned to let us attach into their core. And we had to shut down all the streets, including the interstate highway. We knew we'd have to bring in six or seven cranes. It was so daunting. But at that moment when it was lifted up into the sky, this crazy imagination made real. If this is possible, anything is possible. Absolutely nothing in my life has been planned. And it doesn't evolve in some linear fashion. It's really these kind of fits and starts. It's like punctuated equilibrium. What I think is important is to pay attention to what really interests you. Creating a space where you can nurture your own ideas and protecting them from your own critical self so they can grow. If I can be open to the possibilities around me, then the art can exceed my imagination. There is no boundary. 